call the unknown call. You taught for how long? Uh, taught for 33 years. So many teachers do all the work for the kids, and then they don't benefit. They're passive receptors for answers. And I didn't ever think I had the answer. I was lucky in that there's something inside of me that gets bored very quickly with redoing something. So I never, ever did anything the same. Now, this, is, this, is, this brought me into conflict with the system. They always used to say, if something happens to you, we have to have your curriculum so that we can duplicate you. And I go, well, you can't duplicate me because I never do anything ever the same. Uh, e even projects that would have continuation over year to year, I'd always tweak it and make it better. Mm -hmm. I was always asking, how can this be better? Somebody handed me this thing, how do you get your blues name? Okay, It was uh, an infirmity plus a fruit plus the name of a president, the last name of a president. So I said, hey kids. Here's, here's this really cool thing about getting to have a blues name. And everybody, in this, everybody should have a blues name. Everybody should have a blues name. So I said, I want you to be dead honest with me. Say what your infirmity was, you know, like Blind Lemon Jefferson. Say, tell me what your infirmity is. Tell me what your fruit is. And then, so we all made up blues names. Okay, so that was the lead-in. So they all had a blues name. I said, now that you have blues names, maybe you need to write some blues. Maybe you need to write some blues. And I said, Did anybody know anything about the blues? So I just I kind of improvised and taught him about the blues. And I found a kid who could play a keyboard. And I brought my keyboard in. Found a kid who could do some blues changes. So they could recite their blues or they could sing their blues. Kids started really getting up and performing. I said, lock the door. <laughs> so I didn't want anybody coming in because they were being dead honest. A couple of the guys who came out of rap started improvising blues on the spot. And I, the way I had my classroom was I had, had it set up in a seminar thing in a big square. They jumped over the square in the center and a couple of girls jumped over and they were like doing the backup like that. And these guys were improvising the blues. And the whole class was clapping and rocking. It was like maybe the highlight of my career because the kids were just totally letting go and, and being dead honest. The creativity was incredible. It just exploded. And, and all it started from was the same, honestly, the same process of poetry. It got an image of the blues name. How do you form your blues name? And that whole unit ramified out from there with all kinds of, all kinds of connectors and tendrils. And, and I said, you got to come up with a report and you got to come up and, and you got to accompany it with something graphic or something tangible. Give me something that I can sink my teeth into. And uh, here's the time to do it. And they worked like dogs. They were on their laptops working. And, and so then they all did reports and it was, it was incredible. Hmm. That's when teaching is cooking. And how do you write that down? 